G'day folks, this morning it occurred to me that my blue tongue lizard, Satan, has not had a feed of fresh yabbies for quite a long time. Many of you will have seen videos that I've made in the past of my blue tongue lizard, Satan, eating a feed of fresh yabbies, and I thought to myself, I must go and get him some before autumn gets here and the yabby and slows down. So today I've come out to try and catch a couple of yabbies for Satan, and if I get a few bigger ones for myself, well that's just a bonus. Right here, folks, today I'm using the open top lift nets, but I've got a bit of an experiment going on. If you have a look in there, you'll see that. That is a bait stocking. I've never done this before. Those of you that follow my channel will know how much I love using dog food for bait, particularly good O's dog food, and I use them in the collapsible bait traps. They've got a little zip pouch that you can unzip, put the dog food in and zip back up. The open top lift nets don't have that, so you've got to tie meat into the bottom of it. Obviously you can't tie a handful of dry dog food in there. So what I've done, I've gone and bought some ladies stockings, <laughs> and I've uh, just cut them into little bits, filled them up with dog food and tied them off at each end. It's almost like a sausage, it's like a, a good old sausage. And I've tied them into the net, ready to go. So there we go folks, a little bit of stocking filled with dry dog food, tied, at each, tied up at each end, ready to go. And the first thing I discovered when tying this into the net was actually very easy to tie into the net. When you use lamb's fry, you're worried if you tie it too much, it's gonna rip it in half or cut straight through the meat and the meat's gonna float away. When you use a solid meat with bones and stuff, I mean, rabbit carcasses are a good example, you're worried that the, the meat's gonna move and slide out through the nut. But with the stocking and the dog food, it actually pulls in nice and tight and cuts into it so that it can't slide out, the bait can't slide out. The dog food bait stocking, a yabby dam. Let's go and see if we can catch a few. Go. All three nets are in. I'll give them ages, probably 10 minutes. <laughs> I should give them an hour, but uh, whether I can wait an hour or not is to be seen. <laughs> right here, now I've got about as much patience as the Wangrata Hospital. No, they've got lots of patience. I haven't got any. <laughs> These nets have been in for about 10 minutes. <laughs> long enough? Maybe not long enough. Oh, yeah, look, I've caught one. Ha <laughs> yeah, ha! Yeah, you're a good side for Satan, too, I reckon. The, uh... The stocking, the dog food uh, stocking or the bait stocking has worked. This is a good size for Satan. Satan will eat you know, three or four of them. Right, off to a good start. Now, they don't need that much water, Gabby's only need a little bit. But I am planning on catching a few more. And I'm planning on catching some big ones as well. That are going to have to share the water away with the little ones. So I'll put quite a bit of water in and I'll put some grass in amongst them to keep them separated. Right here, net number two. Oh, there's a couple in there, look. Oh yeah, there's four in that one. That'll do. He'll do too. Ow! Ow, ow, ow. He'll do too. No eggs. He's a bit big for Satan and probably a bit small for me. I'll chuck him in now because I can have a bit of a purge later on. I can have a bit of a uh, bit of a tidy up. Well, 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 well. The bait stocking system is working a treat. Couldn't be happier. Right here, net number three. What's in you? There's a few in there, look. Yeah, not real big though. He'll do for Satan. He'll do for me. And he'll do for Satan. So I'm getting a few here. Rightio, folks. There's a few spots of rain to start to fall. It's time to go around the nets. Now, there was two things I said that I was going to do after I checked them last time, and I haven't done either of them. One of them was give the nets an hour. Man, I haven't done that. It's only been half an hour. <laughs> That's enough. And the other one was put some grass in this water. But there actually isn't much grass around at the moment. So, half an hour. How do we go? 
one. Well, considering I've got one in this net last time, it hasn't gotten any worse. It's not too bad. It's a, a yabby. It's uh, this dam isn't known for its big yabbies, unfortunately. There we go. Lots of flicking going on. <laughs> Look at that little weeny one. There he goes. Little fishing one. Even too small for fishing that one. There's still three in here. One of them's about to get through the bottom of the net. There he is. He's uh. Look, I'll keep him. I'll keep him for Satan. A little bit bigger one. And he's a bit bigger one. Alright, so there were a four in the net, including the little one that fell out at the bottom. Net number three. Net number three. Oh, it's there. There's Yabby's in it. Three. Alright, he's a not a bad fishing one. I'll, I'll keep him. I'll put him in the bucket. I'll put him in the bucket. That's another four, three, and three. No, one, three, one, four, and three. Eight. Eight gabbies. I'll give him one more go. Rightio, folks. I'm having a lot of fun. The nets are on their last hurrah right now. Next time I check them, I'm pulling them out and taking them home because I've got things to do with the kids this afternoon. But I just thought I'd take the time while I'm waiting for them now just to explain why I'm keeping all of my yabbies. Those of you that have followed my channel for a while will have seen other videos where I either keep the biggest ones and put the smallest ones back or I keep the small ones for bait and put the big ones back and vice versa. This time I've kept them all. Why is that? That's because it's late summer. We're heading towards the end of February now and everything's going to be starting to cool down. The nights are already longer. The water's already cooling. You can feel it when I'm out fishing. It's still quite warm, but it is cooling and things will start to slow down. Fishing will slow down soon for a lot of species and the yabbying will slow down for the best part. Now, I know there are yabbies that will, that are damn sorry, that will, will yabby really well right up until June even. But not all of them. They're not all the same. Some have probably already started slowing down. So what I want to do now, because a lot of my dams that I usually go yabbying are out of action at the moment thanks to either drying up or having flood water flowing through them, I'm sort of limited as to which dams I can go yabbying in. So because I know I can come up here and get a few now, I'm going to stockpile them. I'll put the small ones in one polystyrene box, the medium-sized ones in a bigger box and the large ones in the biggest box. I've got three of those white polystyrene boxes at home and they'll last all winter if I need them to. That way I've got some on, on hand if I need them, whether it's for feeding my pet lizard, Satan, which is one of the, the main reason I came up here today. Sometimes my dad will call me and say, I'm going to Lake Nilakuti fishing. Have you got any small yabbies? So I'll have some on, stall on, uh, on hand for him. And the large ones I'll just get there for a rainy day. I might decide to cook them someday or I might go out yabbing and have a, a mediocre trip where I only catch a couple and I want to top it up with the ones that I've got. So because it's getting to a time of year now where it could start getting harder to get yabbies soon, I've decided to keep all of the yabbies that I've caught today and I'm going to stockpile them for the colder months so that I've got them there if I need them. Right, another 10 minutes or so and I'll go and check these nets I reckon. Crabs, crayfish, crawdads, crawfish, crazy crustaceans, it doesn't matter what you want to call them, this is the last time I check these nets. Alrighty -o. What have I got? Uh, three. Three good sized ones for my beautiful blue tongue lizard, Satan. Yeah, he nearly got me that one. Right, uh, there's three more. Right, I've got to empty the contents of this uh, stocking. I'll, uh, I'll get all the, I'll just rip it open, get all the dog food out, and I'll leave that here for the environment to devour. Ants, yabbies, whatever wants it, we'll eat it, and the actual stocking itself will go in the bin. Alright, what about this one? Oh, look at them all. This one's got quite a few in it. Oh, yeah. There's probably eight or nine in there. Seven. Right now there were seven yabbies in that net but what is worth noting is they've actually just started getting through the stocking and getting the dog food out. 
to just hack into the stocking a bit. So the stocking has worked very, very well. However, I think for long extended uh, sessions, eventually the yabbies, it looks like they might get through. Bear in mind, this net's caught about 15 yabbies just in the last hour or so. Yeah, so it's worked very well, but longativity could be a problem. Rightio, the third and final net, the final pull. This is my last pull for today. What have we got? Hmm, bit of a mixed bag here. Mainly smaller ones. That one's just gone straight through. These open top lift nets aren't good for yabbies that size because he just fell straight through the mesh. This one's just getting through now as well, and these are similar size. Another one there too, look. Three yabbies about that size have just made their way through the mesh. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Right, yeah, so the last net had eight in it, the one before it had seven, so 15, 16 yabbies in the last check. So all up, I've got close to 30 yabbies all up. That is really cool. Rightio, time to uh, empty the contents of this bucket into one of the nets and just have a bit of a stock take. Look at them all. There's a lot of yabbies in there. <laughs> I'll get a quick picky. I'll get a thumbnail photo. Right, one of the little ones has just fallen through the net, so I better get some water in and do the whole counting thing. One. Two, and a stocking. Three. Thirty-two. Righty righty folks. In just probably an hour, hour and a half, I've got 32 yabbies using the open top lift nets. Of those 32 yabbies, probably about a third are going to be good enough to eat. A third are probably going to be good enough for my pet lizard, which is the reason I come up here to start with. And a third are probably uh, going to be good bait sized yabbies. So I've done really well. This has been quite a successful trip. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not consider subscribing to my channel because I upload videos regularly. I have stacks of fun when I'm out the bush. Thank you all very, very much for watching. Don't forget to uh, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video.